Hello students, in this video, I will be discussing about the differential equation in its fundamental form and how to solve it. So if we have a system of equations, for example, uh, I consider only a 2 cross 2 system, the same thing can be extended to the higher order systems. So we have plus f of t and similarly dv by dt equal to c u of t plus b d v of t plus g of t now here the conditions we have the initial value problem u at t naught is equal to u naught v at t naught equal to v naught So we need to write this in the form of say a matrix. If we consider capital U to be U of T and V of T then U dash of T is equal to DV by DT DU by DT and dv by dt so we will have u dash of t equal to u dash u v of t plus f of t g of t so here this matrix a is the are the coefficients of u and v in the, each of the equations so coefficient of u is a coefficient of v in the first equation is b similarly the coefficient of u in second equation is c coefficient of v in the second equation is t so we have u dash of t equal to a u plus f of t and u at t naught equal to u naught v naught. Now this representation is called the fundamental form of the system of equations. As an example, if we consider dx by dt equal to 3x plus 7y plus 2 dy by dt equal to x plus y plus 2t x of 1 equal to 2 and y of 1 equal to minus 3. Now for that we consider capital X to be x of t y of t. So x of 1 will be x of 1 y of 1 which is 2 minus 3. So the equations reduce to x dash equal to three seven one one into x y plus in the first equation, we have the non-homogeneous term as 2 and the second equation, we have 2t that comes here and the x of 0 is already written there. 
so this would be the fundamental form of the differential equation with the initial condition x of 1 equal to the vector 2 minus 3 if we consider say d cube x by dt cube plus d squared x by dt squared minus x of t equal to 0 x of minus 1 equal to 2 dx by dt at minus 1 equal to minus 1 d squared x by dt squared at minus 1 equal to minus 2 0 5 any higher order differential equation can be written as a system of first order equations so we have d cube x by dt cube the highest order derivative we keep it on one side and take all others to the right hand side so that will give us minus d squared x by dt squared plus x of t so we choose x to be x x dash x double dash this implies x dash will be x dash x double dash x triple dash so when we write the e equations so x dash will be some matrix a into x plus f of t and x of minus 1 in this case will be 2 minus 1 minus 2 0 5 now f of t equal to 0 as the right hand side of the differential equation is 0 so this would be our f of t So we have a equal to so x dash is equal to the matrix a into x now x capital x is x x dash x double dash so we write the coefficients now we have this x dash is same as x dash x double dash x triple dash now there is no equation for x dash so x dash will be taken up by the coefficient of x dash is x dash itself so we have 0 1 0 and coefficient of x double dash will be x double dash so 0 0 and 1 now our x triple dash we look at the equation that we have written here that is we'll call it as equation 1 so we use equation 1 and write the coefficients of x x dash and x double dash so here we find the coefficient of x in equation 1 is 1 so the first column will be 1 there is no x dash in equation 1 so coefficient of x dash will be 0 and coefficient of x double dash in equation 1 is minus 1 so that will be written in this so the matrix a is 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 minus 1 alternately we can assign variables and accordingly write this matrix equation like if we take dx by dt equal to u <coughs> or we'll take it as y so dy by dt is z so this is the first derivative now dy by dt is z 
which is the second derivative because dy by dt will give me d squared x by dt squared and dz by dt is a third derivative therefore we take it from equation 1 to be d squared x by dt squared plus x now since d squared x by dt squared is a second derivative and that is given by dy by dt which is z so we have minus z plus x so if i write this in the form of matrix equation we get x to be x y z so x dash equal to the first equation we have x y z in the first equation we have dx by dt dx by dt equal to y so we write 0 1 0 then the second column is dy by dt that is equal to z so the second column would be 0 0 1 and dz by dt is x minus z so 1 0 minus 1 so which works out to be the same whether we write, assign variables or directly write based on the coefficients so we have the differential equation in its fundamental form if we observe this rearranging this as it is similar to your linear first order differential equation for which we used to find the particular integral and then write the solution as x equal to e power a t in this case the particular integral will be e power minus a t equal to integral f of t e power minus a t dt plus the constant of integration but what we observe here is a is a matrix and not a function of t not just a function of t it is a matrix function it is a matrix therefore e power a t will also be again a matrix so which is a uh, somewhat tedious in this uh, in the process of finding the solution but then we have alternate ways of overcoming this problem for that we make use of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors now if we have if we consider matrix a the process involves in identifying a find or determine the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a if we once we find suppose lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda n are the eigenvalues then the complementary function cf or xc is given by c1 e power lambda 1 t into x1 plus c2 e power lambda 2t into x2 plus cn e power lambda nt into xn where x1 x2 xn are independent
eigen vectors now to find the complementary function xp this will be given by so if i take this e power minus 80 to the other side we have c times e power 80 that will be a complementary function which is given here and to find a particular integral which is this part multiplied by e power 80 that will be e power 80 integral f of t e power minus 80 dt plus c dt which is your particular integral in fact if we are able to rearrange x c as some function of by mul multiplying the e power lambda 1 t lambda 2 e power lambda 2 t and so on in the form of a matrix that is phi of t into c1 c2 cn then this particular integral can be found without having to find e power a t so this will be given by phi of t integral sorry this should be e power minus a t into f of t because e power minus a t will be the matrix of uh, matrix which is the same size as a and f of t will be the column vector so this should be the correct order same thing would follow here so this would be phi of s inverse f of s ds and once the integration is completed here then we can replace s with t in this last term here s has to be replaced with t after completion of the integration in the next video we will see how to solve some problems or the solve differential equation in its fundamental form.